So we are going to go against sys.dm except cache plans and we are going to join it via outer apply with sys.dm except SQL text which essentially has the plan handle. And then we are also going to look at the query exec stats which tell us how many times was the particular execution plan used. So let's go ahead and run this query. Oh, well, we do have some other queries in the system that got run, but hmm. Well, let's see if I can see the proc cache one more time, maybe two or three more times, and uh, run this demo once more. This is just so that we only have the query question here as a part of our view, and it does not seem to be cooperating with us. Well, this is a whole lot better than the last view. Okay, we can definitely work with this. All right, so let's look at row number one and row number two. Row number one and two both tell us the query that we fired, which was using local variables. And the execution count right next to it shows one. So this means that an execution plan was generated each time you fire off the query with local variables. Now, you, s you go all the way down to row number 7 and you see a query that looks familiar but not really the exact query that we fired up in case of query 1 and 2. Uh, let me scroll up to query number 1 and 2 and you see here we fire off a simple query which was select star from adventureworks.sales.sales order header where sales order ID equal to some value. And this query here in row number 7 is also very, very good. But for some reason, sales order ID equal to a literal got replaced by a variable that looks like at 1. Did we declare this variable that looks like at 1? Uh, no. So what really happened here? All right. So this is where parameterization, auto-parameterization comes into picture. SQL Server decided that the first two queries look very, very similar. And we could possibly reuse the execution plan generated for the first query for any future queries. But what it needs to do to make a reusable execution plan is replace the literal with some then all it has to do is replace that variable with whatever value comes in and voila, you have an execution plan that's reusable. And you see that the execution count right next to this execution plan is 2, which means that in spite of the fact that we fired two queries, it generated just one execution plan and it was able to reuse that execution plan for the second query, hence the execution count 2. Contrary to that, row number 1 and 2 show that when you created queries that use local variables, auto-parameterization did not really happen, and SQL Server had to uh, generate a new plan each time that query was fired. So this demo shows us very, very clearly how auto-parameterization is very, very useful. It's happening all the time, and it's something that makes your SQL Server, your queries, run a lot faster. Now, before we move on to the next piece of the demo, we are going to look at the execution plan of each and every one of these queries we are creating. So let's include the execution plan and fire off our uh, queries, and this is mainly to show everyone uh, how to identify whether parameterization has happened in your queries or not. So we have four execution plans our way now. Let's make the screen a little bit better to look at. Now I'm going to right click on the select and look at the properties of the select. On the right side of the screen, properties show up and look at the parameter list. 
if you expand parameter list, is showing you a parameter called at one. Now this is a variable that we did not create. SQL Server created this variable when it auto-parameterized this query for us. Before I move ahead, just want to make sure that everyone can see the properties of my execution plan here. I'm getting yeses from everyone in the audience. Okay, perfect. And, and please do let me know if I'm going too fast, either, either uh, when it comes to speaking or moving across various screens. Okay, so here in parameter list, we see that our column, which has the parameter, is at 1. It has a compile time value and it has a runtime value. This indicates us that auto-parameterization happened and a value against the property of compile time value shows us that SQL Server sniffed out the parameter that we passed into it and it used that parameter to custom create an execution plan that was very specifically tailored for the parameter value 56000. How this comes into play will be a lot clearer when we look at the properties of the select on the query. So let's go ahead and see that. Here again, you see parameter list. The variable against parameter list is at 1. This is the variable that SQL Server generated for us when it auto-parameterized. And the very interesting observation here is, in spite of the fact that the value that you passed in the where clause was 56001. You see that the parameter compiled is 56000, same as the last query. This is an indicator that SQL Server reused the execution plan that it generated for the previous query and applied that same execution plan to your next query in spite of the fact that the value of the filter for which you passed in was different from the value that was passed in the last time, which is stored as compile time value. 